What up guys, it's Jordan from Blackwater Japan and today we're installing LS400 Big Brakes on my SC400. Um, these are pretty much the easiest and cheapest big brake upgrade you can do on these cars. The bolt pattern is exactly the same, I believe, for SC, 1st and 2nd Gen GS, 1st and 2nd Gen LS, and IS. 300. I believe those are all the same with just some minor modifications required. Today I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to put these on my SC. I just want to show you guys up close how the caliper turned out. Um, we used this warm yellow color from Rust-Oleum. Sanded them a little bit, primered, painted, cleared, and that was it. And then I put a sticker on it and put more clear over that. So I went with the warm yellow with the gold um, Lexus emblem, drilled the slotted brake rotors. Also, guys, we just got new microphones, so bear with me while I dial in the quality of the sound. Um, hopefully, these make the videos a little bit better and more enjoyable to watch. Also, if you want to see how to prep and paint you know, these calipers, we did the same thing on the GS300 back here, and it's on our YouTube channel, so go check that video out if you kind of want to see how we got the calipers to where they are now. This one's more of a uh, install video specifically for the SC. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the carp in the air, the bumper and the wheels are off, and I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do now. So we got our stock brakes here, stock rotors, and basically what we're gonna do is just take the two big 17s off for the whole brake caliper. Have that come off the caliper will kind of hang to the side for just a sec and we'll take the brake line off and then we'll take the rotors off and then the dust shields will have to be removed or if you prefer you can trim yours down but i'm just going to take mine off i prefer to use these little hooks to kind of hang up the caliper Hooky hooky, pooky pooky, hangy hangy, brangy brangy. So now you'll see here that we have this ghettoly cut dust shield for the brakes. When I was first doing it, I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just cut the freaking whole dust shield off, but I just had 10 snips at the time, didn't have a grinder. So I ghettoly cut this just to make room for my angle kit. So now there's just a couple, uh, little bolts on here. I'm not sure the size yet, but I'll let you guys know when I figure it out. So I'm going to take those bolts off and then I'll probably take a grinder and just have to cut the sleeves off and then should be able to bend it and get it off. Okay. So they are just little 10 mils. There's going to be, looks like four of them. They also have a Torx bit you could use. And all I'm going to do is cut basically like a little slit out right here with my grinder and then bend this off and just take the whole thing off. Just a little maneuvering. Look at how I tried to do it when I did my angle kit. <laughs> this is like how I was on the car. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, so since we got everything else off, now it's pretty much time to just swap the calipers over. So I like to just take this guy, grab it, See that 14? And then I always take the both old washers and just put them back in the caliper with the banjo bolt. And I just let that hang for a little bit. I'm going to have to bleed it no matter what. So, like that. Now it is time. For the new brake rota. Go like that. Put a lug nutter on her. Hold her in place for a minute. Next, I'm just going to grab the brake caliper and put it on here. The brake caliper is already assembled with the pads and the hardware in there. It's very simple to do. I'll go over a quick run over once I get it on. Just like magic. Check this out. Hopefully that transition was smooth and not very bad because I kind of struggled for a second. So now they're all installed and pretty much just time to bleed. But I'll go over a few things before I bleed them. All right, so let's just go over some info real quick. So this lines up, everything lines up perfectly with the stock SC knuckle. You need to 
utilize the LS400 caliper bolts. Do not use your SC caliper bolts because they are a little too long, and so they will rub into this into this uh, brake rotor here. So other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The only other thing is I like to torque the main 17s right here down to about uh, 75, 80 foot pounds. Like I said earlier, you can put some Loctite on it if you prefer that and don't have a torque wrench. The other thing is this little safety knob here doesn't really line up well with the hole on the LS400 caliper because if you put it like that, then the brake line would be like straight up and down. And at full lock, especially if you have an angle kit, it could pro possibly pull on this and not give you enough length there. So as of right now though, I just turned it up and tighten it down and now it's time to bleed the other thing is the assembly of the brake caliber itself very simple you take this little pin out take these rods out take the caliper the pads out and put them back in the pads slide in first and then you put this big metal tab down and this gets hold down by the slide pins so you slide the pins in while putting pressure on this to hold it in place after both brake pads are in and then you just line up the pins here on the holes on the little clip through the hole here and the two slide pin holes very simple straightforward nothing difficult there and then just make sure everything clears with your wheel set up your angle kit set up or whatever you got going on and then now it's time to bleed and basically put my wheels back on so we should be good to go after this okay so we got all the freaking brake calipers on everything's torqued down we made sure there's no leaks when we press the brakes and pump the brakes now we're going to bleed them um, i prefer to use a vacuum bleeder and then gravity bleed after. You can do your brake bleeding process however you like. But this is what I like to do. I use a small ass air tank here in my garage. You don't need much air pressure for this to work. Um, just need to start sugooking. And then we will, yeah, I mean, you guys, come on guys. Like really, if you're watching this video to freaking learn how to bleed brakes, go freaking watch like Chris Fix or someone else. I'm just trying to show you my freaking cool cars. Look at how fucking disgustingly like, hard this freaking hose is this is rock hard not like me so let's check this shit out but when these brakes are on and they're going i'm going to be like this hose so obviously when you bleed brakes you should always start with the farthest caliper from the master cylinder but since we didn't do anything with the rear brakes there's technically no air in the system going to the rear brakes so i'm just going to bleed from the front i already checked for leaks made sure we had no leaks and now i'm just going to Break the uh, bleeder screw loose, put this puppy on, and start gucking away. Make sure you watch your master cylinder to make sure none of the fluid goes all the way down and then creates more air in your lines. That seems to be a typical thing that happens. So gucking. So remember to check your actual brake line too at the end of everything just to make sure it's not leaking. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to finish this job up real quick and then we'll get the wheels on. I live in a crime infested city. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much the LS400 big brake upgrade on the SC. Simple, easy, quick install, quick brake bleed and you're on the road. You can see um, it's kind of dark now. We had to get all the other stuff on, the bumper and everything. But I think that yellow with the gold looks accent good. looks pretty sick, especially with the Ratzingers and everything else we got going on here. Um, I hope you guys liked that video. Like, comment, subscribe for more. and. Ask any questions below if you guys need any help or specific details that I may have left out. Keep watching Blackwater videos and check us out on Instagram too. Peace!